Good morning, everybody. Larry Ash here from Ash Home Improvements and Dipless Brush Company. Say it with me, the world's first and only Dipless Paint Brushes. Uh, all right, so today uh, we're gonna be doing some tooling. So I just wanted to make a little video, show you guys, uh, some of you new guys in the field about your equipment, uh, how the tooling is important, and um, uh, just give you a little insight. Um, I wanna also uh, let you know, we're gonna be installing this uh, this new whip hose we got here. We got this from Paint Life Supply Co. Uh, that's the Idaho painter. Uh, so you wanna uh, check out some of his uh, shop equipment. He's got some great uh, great accessories and whatnot. So, um, you know, check out Idaho painter and uh, that's where we got this nice uh, whip hose. So we're gonna be installing this onto our uh, uh, Graco paint sprayer. And um, I have some extension poles here as well. Uh, I'm gonna keep those on standby for the, uh, we got this big job coming up. We started last week. Uh, the prep's all been done. The carpentry is being, uh, you know, uh, repaired uh, where needed. And uh, yeah, so we got a big staining project coming up this week and uh, we're doing the tooling today. This is uh, Sunday. Uh, we'll be on the job tomorrow, making uh, some more videos of the process. And um, uh, I always recommend you do your tooling uh, before you get to the job site. Uh, it's, it's best to get familiar with your equipment uh, make sure everything's up and up to par and uh, uh, you know put together properly and uh, then you're good to go so when you get to the job uh, you know no messing around so okay uh, so uh, real quick uh, it's really important that when you do tooling uh, that you actually use wrenches uh, so uh, with the standard airless equipment you're gonna need a, an 11 16 open end wrench and a 3 quarter inch open end wrench um, I keep these pliers, uh, channel lock pliers, or regular pliers, uh, I keep them on standby just because sometimes when removing your tip guard, this can be tight, and uh, even though they're supposed to just be hand tight, I, I like to snug them up a little bit, um, you know, just to uh, assure I'm not going to get any leaking. So I like to keep a pair of pliers around just for that in case that's on there too tight. Uh, so okay, so uh, much like our brushes, you'll see they have these protective caps on the end red caps just like uh, on our dipless brushes uh, these protect the threads they're very important uh, a lot of guys just throw those away and don't uh, don't take note that uh, you know these things protect these threads and uh, the threads are important because um, you know if you don't have uh, if you have damaged threads you're gonna get a leak so uh, it's important to uh, you know save these for when your products aren't in use uh, you know something like this kicking around in the toolbox you know nicks up the threads uh, these inner threads here can get gummed up with uh, you know paint and stuff like that so yeah it's important to just keep those caps uh, so when you're not in use but uh, so we're gonna be installing this whip hose it's only take a few minutes so one end here goes on your uh, airless paint sprayer and the other end is gonna be for your gun so we're gonna take our end here so you've got a male end and a female end I'm going to put those together like this. Stop that threading process and start that by hand until it starts to get tight. And you're going to need your open end wrenches. Oops, so actually that's a different size. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so this one's actually a 916 it's on this uh, whip hose. I was unaware of that. So, and the other one's still the three quarter inch. We're just gonna snug that up till it gets tight, but not too tight. I mean, you don't wanna, you don't wanna damage the threads either. So you just wanna snug it up tight. That's it. So these whip hoses are great. They allow for some movement uh, when you're swinging your brush or you're swinging your airless uh, gun. This little twist here allows for movement so um, when you're holding the dipless brush and you're swinging back and forth um, you know this is going to rotate for you and allow that to turn so these things are great we're happy to uh, be installing this today for the new project i'm gonna put this gun on here so same similar scenario male end female end we'll clean those threads a little bit make sure there's no dirt and debris on there some people recommend putting some uh, thread seal on there or even some Teflon tape. Not really necessary, uh, you know, so I call it overkill, but sometimes it is, you know, if you feel that you need it, uh, you know, no harm in putting that on there. Let's see what we got here. There we go. 
Okay, so that's snugged up there pretty tight. As you can see, it allows for that movement. We got the whip hose on here now. Uh, so now, just to uh, put your dipless brush on is simple. You're gonna just take your tip guard off, like this. Just twist, like I said, that one wasn't on there too tight, so no problem. I'm gonna be, uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just take this six inch extension of this gun. Uh, sometimes we use the straight pole gun. Um, I will be using that with the poles. Uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. So we're gonna put the dipless brush extension onto this gun like this. This little, put these threads together. That should be that. There we go. I'll snug that up a little bit. So the job coming up is going to be uh, both uh, clapboards and shingles. There's a mix on this job. So uh, it's going to be great to use this because I can have it like this when I do my shingles. And then I can loosen this up, rotate the brush sideways like this when I do my clapboards. Uh, so that's the versatility. You can just move that, change it, uh, and have it the way you want. Um, and then there's an area uh, on the job where the ground isn't so level. Uh, ladders are not uh, are an issue. So um, that's what I'm bringing the poles for. Uh, I can stand safely on the uneven ground, um, apply and back brush uh, the clapboards or the shingled siding above, um, and never get on that dangerous ladder uh, with unsafe footing. So um, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing on the, on the big project coming up. So um, the tooling was simple. You're all set. I'm ready to go. Um, again, uh, check out Paint Life Supply Company, uh, the Idaho Painter. He hooked us up with this great whip hose, um, so he has great products. Check those out. Um, let me just show you these poles here. So this one here, uh, I'm going to bring this. It's got this angle connector by Titan. These are great. I can, uh, I can just whip the brush over this way, you know, flip it the other way if I need to, keep it straight. Um, very versatile, very easy to use. Uh, so these are great. I have the long boy here. This is a six foot pole. This too has the angle connector on there. See that? Just move that wherever you want, whatever position. Um, same thing, you just take this tip guard off. Bingo, bango, throw your dipless brush on and you're gone, you're, you're going. And the same thing, if you uh, have some areas you just wanna spray, twist it off, take the brush off in a moment's notice, throw your tip guard back on, throw in a spray tip, and um, you're done. I mean, you're getting it done. So, so we're all ready for the big job now. Uh, uh, look forward to the upcoming videos. I'm gonna be doing a couple of walkthroughs on this project. Um, we're gonna show you why we use tipless brushes. This is a, uh, this is uh, somewhere between four and 6,000 square foot home. Uh, and we're doing actually uh, a large garage uh, portion. So uh, they break the job down into smaller parts because obviously it's a, an enormous job. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna show you that and show you exactly uh, what we're doing, how we do it. And um, you know, the statistics involved as well. So um, yeah, I wanna let you know that uh, we have these videos uh, for tooling and setup on uh, YouTube, so you can uh, check out Dipless Brushes on YouTube, see how easy it is to tool your equipment to, to shoot with these brushes and, um, you know, uh, you know, deliver a better quality finish, make more money, um, and use less uh, uh, prep time and materials. So um, that's it. We're all set to go. I'm going to uh, get this equipment back in the truck, be all ready for tomorrow morning. Um, it's uh, enjoy your Sunday. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day. Sun's just coming up. And um, yeah, uh, you look forward to us doing this project. Um, it's gonna be great. So check us out at diplusbrush.com and uh, we'll look forward to you. Thanks.